Hey, guitar dudes and dudettes, thanks for checking out the video. New guitar day at my house. I recently uh, pulled off a slick trick, sold one guitar, got another one, put a bunch of money in my pocket, and still ended up with something I really loved. That was this PRS uh, CE Dusty Warring model. I let a Friedman Cali go that I, I also loved, but the neck was just a little, you know, too big for my hand. You know, I was just fighting to play it. So maybe what's in this box will accomplish the same trip. We'll have to find out. I'll spare you the uh, long unboxing procedure. Maybe I'll throw some chipmunk music behind it and we'll do it fast forward. Rock on. <laughs> case obviously said Gibson on the box says Gibson on the case something with a G on the headstock let's take a look if you were paying attention there to the shape of the case you you might have caught on to a little hint oh look okay so this is the first time I bought a guitar from Sweetwater I bought a lot of gear pedals other kind of stuff from them but first time on a guitar so 55 point inspection certificate I'll have to uh, go through that and uh, see if they did a good job or not first of all let's see what we got for case candy usually you get some case candy with Gibson guitars this is a mm, one of the this is the first uh, brand new Gibson guitar I've had since the very first guitar I had several years ago man it smells really good so I got the Gibson strap got the uh, guitar identification card and the birth photo and then I got all the goodies this first time I've seen the plastic bag it's like a ziplock yeah it's a zip, ziplock bag and I got a tool which is great because my other two Gibson guitars are pre-owned and they always steal the tool when they sell them to you used for some reason I don't think that's I don't think that's right that they should do that but that's what seems to happen tools don't come along well, let's uh let's get down to it so what do we have here let me get this out of the way let's set this down gently and you go there all right gang so this is a 2019 sg special compensated wraparound bridge gibson p90s I don't know how it's going to show up on here, but I thought this one had a really, really nice uh, piece of rosewood on it. Uh, G on the headstock. This one's got the kind of uh, old school Clouson style tuners. Uh, the color is vintage burgundy. I'm a sucker for red and black, but I really like this. Kind of goes with my uh, favorite sports team's color anyway. So, uh, 60 slim taper neck that's bound. I already know I like that because that's what's on both my Les Pauls. Setup on this is really, really spot on. Right about where I would have put it. I wonder if that's part of the inspection. They put a little setup on it. I'll have to read up on that. Nice and light. Feels good. So, here's the story, gang. Got this guitar at a little bit below demo price, actually. They had one brand new one I was looking at. It was six pounds, 10 ounces. I think this one's seven pounds on the money, if I remember correctly. And I was gonna get it. I was gonna call my rep, and then over the weekend, somebody bought it off their website. So they had a couple of demos uh, for sale with a discount, as they always do. And um, I, I just emailed the guy, I said, you getting any more uh, of these in? He said, well, I've got a couple of other ones. Let me show you. Well, they sold, they had this one. They were gonna list it as a demo, but really it's never been played. So it has a minute, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. I can barely feel it with my finger. There's like a little tool mark right here on the binding. And in the photographs, it looked way bigger. So I don't even know if that'll show up. And also there's like a little grain of dust or sand right underneath the finish right there. The, you know, a little piece of dirt or something when they were clear cutting the guitar. 
uh, never been played, still got the plastic on. I can tell it didn't even have any pick marks or anything on the plastic. So for those two little uh, dings, if, if you really want to call them that, I got $375 knocked off by calling my guy on the phone and working out a deal. So never hurts to call your guy at Sweetwater. So anyway, man, this thing smells fantastic. So anyway, the uh, story here is P90s. Obviously, I've already got one uh, recently. You know, like I mentioned, I sold my other Freedman and got that CE that had a neck that fit my hand better. Same story here. I think I'm going to sell that Freedman uh, with Vintage T with the larger neck on it if, if this guitar works out. Obviously, I've got a return policy, so I'm going to try it out first. So we'll do that. We'll try it out, see how it sounds, probably do a little comparison between the two try to decide which one you know that I really want to keep um, obviously there's a big difference in price and I already have another guitar on order that came out at NAM a pre-ordered guitar that should be here maybe hopefully middle of April or so about the time my birthday rolls around so if I could sell that I could pay for both these and turn uh, one into two so we'll see how that works out so anyway new guitar day Gibson SG special with P90s and vintage burgundy rock on Thanks for tuning in.